The violin is a beautiful yet complex instrument to play. There are a lot of parts to the violin to make it what it is. So let's start with the simple parts. This is the bow. The hair on the bow is made of horse hair. It is very coarse which allows it to catch the strings on the violin so the sound can resonate. This is the frog of the bow. This is what allows the violinist to manipulate the bow in order to produce a longer note or shorter style note. It is also where the horse hair meets the bow. Next, let's take a closer look at how you can hold the bow. This is how you hold the bow. Notice the relatively loose grip. The violin will hold up the bow as it rests on the string so you only need to guide it. It is more of a wrap of the bow that will hold. The balance is on the padding of your thumb while the rest of your fingers merely wrap around it. This is the violin itself. It is a hollow bodied instrument with a sound post on the inside. The sound post is the most important part of the violin. It is where the sound resonates from. As you draw the bow across the string, the sound post vibrates the sound and comes through the F holes. This is the chin rest. You hold the violin between your chin and your shoulder. Though your hand is on the neck of the violin, this is only to play the notes. You do not really hold it with your hand. The bulk of the work is done with the chin rest and your shoulder. The bridge is the wooden piece here. It is what holds the strings above the fingerboards so that your fingers can press the strings to make the notes. Also, this vibrates suddenly, sending the sound into the sound post just below it. The black piece going down the middle is the fingerboard. Very simply, you place your fingers on the board to make sounds. The rest of the violin is relatively simple. The scroll is where the pegs and the black pieces hold the strings tightly onto the violin. You turn the pegs to loosen or tighten the strings to tune the instrument. The strings from left to right read as the following. G, D, A, E. And there you have it. You put all the knowledge of that together to play the violin successfully. Obviously some other knowledge, such as reading music and understanding notes, goes into it as well. But that is for all instruments. The information just given allows you to put the information together with the violin.